Well, OpenText is Canada's largest uh, software company, but what a lot of people may not realize is 95% of what we do is actually outside of Canada, and 50% of what we do is outside of North America. So our exposure into Asia has been quite substantial for more than a decade. Asia is critical to Canada's future simply because it's going to represent, eventually, 50% of the world's GDP. So it's pretty simple math to realize that half of what we do better be with Asia. And so as active as we are in the Atlantic, we better be just as active in the Pacific. The biggest challenge that we have in Canada vis-a-vis -vis Asia is that relative to Europe, it's relatively unknown to us. Even in South America, we have a greater familiarity. So our biggest challenge is how do we become more familiar with Asia? And there's a simple answer to that. You have to go there. You have to start doing joint projects together. At OpenText, we've got more than a thousand people with an Asian focus, whether it's Japan or Australia or India. And maybe the Indian experience that we've had is very interesting. We're located in Hyderabad and we have a joint development team where we co-develop products that are for the world markets and we regularly cooperate with our research center in Hyderabad. Now the reason why we went into India and specifically Hyderabad is because our global partners asked us to. If we wanted to not only sell into Asia but if we wanted to continue to sell globally with SAP, with Accenture, we had to co-locate our development where their development centers were. So quite frankly, if you're going to operate globally in an integrated global supply chain, you have to be in India, in China. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. In response to Asia, Asia is going to drive us to be a more innovative society, without a doubt. We're simply, we're going to have to keep up. Uh, in Asia, they're emerging, they're hungrier, they're faster, and interestingly, they're starting not through the progression that we went through over the past century of innovation. They're not going from zero to one to two, they're going right to ten. So, uh, for example, in wireless, they're going right to 3G and 4G. They're not doing wireline and then, you know, the twisted pair and what have you. So a big thing everyone needs to realize is the infrastructure the Chinese, the Indians are building, brand new infrastructure. The infrastructure in North America and Canada is relatively old. And this played itself out many years ago between North America and Europe and North America out-innovated Europe for a long period of time. We should be very careful as Canadians yeah. that we have to innovate against an infrastructure that they just built. Yeah.